Hello guys, welcome to the next video on MongoDB tutorial for beginners. In the last video, we have seen how we can download Mongo Chef, which is a GUI tool to run Mongo command on this uh, Mongo shell tool. Now, in the last video, we have seen how we can connect to our MongoDB using this uh, Mongo Chef tool. Now, in this video, we will see how we can create a database and how we can drop a database using MongoDB. Now the first thing which we have to keep in mind is this MongoDB is different from uh, relational databases so it has the structure something like this. First you have the database and inside your database you have collections and inside the collections you have documents right so let's create a database so to create a database you need a command use and then yeah, the database name you want to create for example my db okay and then we are going to press this button which says execute statement at cursor or f6 okay so just press this button and it says switched to db my db so what does this mean it means that if my db database is already present it's going to uh, switch to my db otherwise if the my db database is not present then it's going to create the db first and then it's going to switch to this db okay now the second command which we have already seen is to list the current database. So for example, we are using MyDB as a current database. To uh, know this, you just need to write DB and then press this button once again. And it says MyDB, which is the current working database, right? Now to list out all the databases which are present right now, you need to uh, give this command. So just give show dbs, okay? And this is going to give you the list of all the databases which are present. So just press this button and it says local. But we have uh, recently created mydb and this mydb is not listed by this command which is show dbs. The reason for this is because our data doesn't contain any documents. So to show the databases or to show uh, you know in the list of databases your database need to have some documents. So first of all we need to insert some documents. So what we need to do here, we need to insert some uh, document in the database. So command for that is db. db is a general term. It's not your database. You are already inside your database by using this command, right? So db is the general database term. It's not the name of your database, right? Dot the name of your collection. For example, you can give the name to your collection, my collection. So this is the name which can be given by you. So we already know that our database can have collections, which is this collection. And then to insert the data, you just need to write dot insert. Okay, so just write dot insert. And then in the round brackets, you need to give some key value pair like a JSON, right? So just give these uh, two curly braces and then first give the key, for example, uh, name and then the value, okay? For example, uh, the name can be max, okay? Like this one, okay? So this should be like a JSON and then you press our execute command button and then it says write result inserted one which is the insertion successful command okay now once again we are going to give this show db's uh, uh, command to see whether now 
we can see uh, the, our database in the list of databases so once again execute this command and now you can see my DB is also listed in the list of databases right now let's see how we can drop a database or delete a database using uh, some command right so to delete a database what you need to do is you need to uh, give the same command use uh, the database name which you want to drop and we have already given this command right now we are in this database right so to drop this database you just need to give the command db dot drop database right and this is going to drop your database in which you are currently present right so db is a general uh, database term it's not the name of your database but just db dot drop database and what it's going to do is in whatever database you are currently switched in it's going to drop this database so right now we are in this my db database so right now when we execute this command it's going to say dropped my db so it's going it has uh, dropped our database and the result is successful so now once again we can say show dbs and then just execute it once again and it says local because our my database or my db is already been deleted so this is how you can create a database and delete a database in MongoDB. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please wait, comment, subscribe and bye for now.